hi viewers so today we'll be drawing this object for that let us open a new acad file so click on file click on new double click on acad set the units u and enter select millimeters click on ok check the o track setting so for that right click on o track click on settings now in this menu we can see all the important points have been selected click on ok make sure to turn on polar osnap o track d ucs dynamic line weight thickness and model now first of all let us draw a circle so click on this circle icon click anywhere move the cursor away and give the radius of 180 press enter now we can't see a circle over here let's zoom out still we can't see a circle so now we have to click on the top view and now we can see the circle let us draw a line from this quadrant to the other quadrant click press enter to get out of the command now click on this line and move this line by a distance of 90 so write 90 and then press enter now use trim so tr enter enter click on this side click on this and this extra material press escape now let us draw a line so click on line click on the quadrant move the cursor in the negative y direction and write the value of 112.5 enter press enter to get out of the command now click on this line click on copy click on this edge move the cursor in the negative x direction and write the value of 121.5 press enter again move the cursor in the negative x direction and write the value of 292.5 press enter press enter to get out of the command now click on this line click on the move icon select this endpoint as the base point move the cursor in the upward direction and click on this intersection now click on circle click on this endpoint move the cursor away and give the radius of 45 enter now click on this line click on copy click on this end click on this quadrant and the other quadrant as well press enter press enter to get out of the command click on this line to remove this so press delete now click on this line and shorten it again click on this endpoint now we can see that the length is 90 let's reduce this to 54 so move the cursor away and write minus 36 enter now we can see that the length of this line is 54 press escape click on circle click on this endpoint move the cursor away now we have to give the diameter of 54 so for that press d enter and then 54 enter click on this line and press delete now trim this part and this part so for that write tr enter enter click on this arc click on this line press escape click on this line and remove it now the object is complete all we have to do is to perform dimensioning so for dimensioning let us create a layer so la enter click on new layer click one time and then second time for renaming so write dimensions now here we can see that the color of the dimensions is blue so click on the color select blue click on ok line type should be continuous line weight should be thinner line so let us select 0.13 mm click on ok click on ok again now from this layer menu select dimensions and now perform dimensioning so click on dimensions click on linear bring the cursor over this quadrant 
move in the x direction move in the negative y direction click bring the cursor over this center point track it click move the cursor away and click press enter again click anywhere on this line Track this center of the circle, click, move the cursor away and click. Press enter again, track this center point, click, click on the perpendicular point, move the cursor away and click. Press enter again, click on this line, track this end point of the line, click. Move the cursor away, click. Press enter again. Now track this quadrant, click. Trace this endpoint as well. And click. Move the cursor away and click. Similarly, click on dimensions, click on radius, click on this circle, click. Press enter again, click on this arc. Move the cursor away and click. Click on dimensions, click on diameter, click on this circle, move the cursor away in the upward direction, click. Now we have performed dimensioning, but we can't see the dimensions. So for that, we have to go to dimensions, click on dimension style, click on modify, select the arrow size to be 3, text size should be. 5 distance between dim line and the text should be 1 click on primary units now here click on 0, 0.0 click on ok click on close now we can see the dimensions let us visualize the dimensions in the layout now we can see the dimensions clearly let us increase the size of the text and the arrow for that click on dimensions click on dimension style Click on modify, click on text, let the text size should be 6, the gap between dim line and text should be 2, similar and arrow size should be 4. Click on OK, click on close and now the dimensions looks OK. Now let us draw this object, all the dimensions are given. So first we will draw a rectangle sort of shape. And then we will draw the internal details and these arcs. So now let us start by creating another file. So click on file, click on new, double click on AK, set the units, U and enter, click on millimeters, click on OK. Now start drawing by clicking this line icon. So click on line icon, click anywhere in the positive x direction, give the value of 70, enter. Turn this LWT on. Again in the positive X direction give the value of 100 enter. Now if you can't zoom out or zoom in you can just press escape, right Z, press enter, A enter. Now we can zoom out or zoom in. Click on line again. Start from this end point. In the positive X direction give the value of 70 again. Now in the negative Y direction the values are 50 enter, 60 enter, 50 enter. Again we have to repeat the upper values so we have to write 70 enter 100 enter 70 enter in the positive y direction we have to give the values as 50 enter 60 enter 50 enter press enter to get out of the command now click on this offset command the distance should be 20 click on this middle line click above Click on this line, click on the left. Click on this line, click on the right. Click on this middle line, click below. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select these lines and press delete. Now let us start drawing the arc. So click on arc, three point arc. So this is the start point, this is the middle point, and this is the end point. Press enter again start middle and enter start middle and enter 
start middle and now remove the offset lines so first select them and then press delete now draw a circle of diameter 120 so click on circle track this midpoint and this midpoint again and here you will get the intersection click now write d enter 120 enter click on rectangle click anywhere now give the dimensions of 30 tab minus 130 press enter now we have to perform filleting so for that write f enter r is 0 radius is 0 so r enter 8 enter now because this rectangle is a polyline and filleting has been performed on all the corners so we can utilize this polyline option so write p enter just with one click all the corners have been filleted now we have to move this to its required place so click on this object click on move let this midpoint be the base point bring the cursor over here now first of all place it at this corner now we have to move this to its required space so we can see that in the drawing this distance from this extreme left line is 15 and from the bottom the, the space is also 15 now we have to move this object to its required space so because the middle point is at the corner so this total length is 30 so we can see that the corner is at minus 15 and in the diagram we can see that this corner or the fillet or this line should be at 15 mm distance uh, the total distance becomes 30 in the downward direction the distance should be 15 only so we have to click on this object just write m enter click anywhere on this object move the cursor in the positive x direction give the value of 30 enter again click on this object press m enter click anywhere on this object and in the downward direction give the value of 15 enter so now this object has been placed correctly now we can just mirror this object across this vertical axis passing through the center of the circle so click on mirror select object to mirror so click on this filleted rectangle press enter now for first mirror point click on this quadrant and click on this quadrant again erase source object no press enter and now the object is complete now we have to perform dimensioning for that so we have to create a layer for that write l a enter click on new layer rename the layer by the name of dimensions because the color of the dimensions is blue click on this color click on ok click on line weight dimension lines are thin lines so click on 0.13 mm click on ok click on ok again activate this dimension layer click on dimensions click on linear now here I track this endpoint click track this endpoint again and click move the cursor away press enter again click anywhere on this line track this endpoint click move the cursor away and click press enter again click on this endpoint move the cursor to this end and track it click move the cursor away and click again press enter again now this time track this midpoint and click then track this endpoint as well click move the cursor away click press enter again click on this endpoint track this point and then click move the cursor away and click press enter again click on this endpoint track this endpoint when we get the perpendicular intersection click move the cursor in this direction and click press enter again click on this endpoint track this endpoint click move cursor away click 
press enter again click on this midpoint click on perpendicular and then click press enter again click on any point on this line click in the perpendicular direction then click similarly press enter drag this point click and drag the opposite point as well and click of the cursor away and click press enter drag this midpoint click drag this endpoint and click click again now the diameter of this circle and radius of this fillet is required click on dimensions click on radius click on this fillet move the cursor away and click click on dimensions click on diameter click on this circle move the cursor outside and click now you can't see the dimensions clearly so for that let's go to dimensions click on dimension style click on modify let the symbol and arrow size should be 4 click on text let the text size should be 6 distance between the text and the dim line should be 2 click on primary units click on 0 click on ok click on close now we can see the dimensions clearly uh, we can see overlapping so click on this 15 move this text inside and towards the middle press escape now this looks okay this 20 dimension should be in between these two extension lines let's move this to this place press escape now let's visualize this how the objects look okay if you still have any question in any step you can always let me know in the comment section thank you for watching